Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Crew First Culture Podcast. This is Jeremy again. Thank you for joining me today. So just jumping right in it. No matter what or where you come from, greatness can come from you. So why why this statement or, or quote or whatever? I, uh, I have a bad habit of picking up different notebooks and different cool looking, I don't know, books or whatever to take notes in. I, I've i got them all over the place. Wasted no telling how much money on, you know, some, and then I'd find something I think would be better, or I don't have that one. So I use something else and it's just, it's just a mess. And so I finally decided to find something that was big enough that I could use it for quite a while. And that was, you know, cool enough or or, or whatever enough that I'm going to be happy with keeping it. So got something off Amazon and have spent probably the last week just trying to consolidate everything into this book. And, uh, looks like almost 40 pages worth of it right now. So I think I'm pretty close to caught up with where I'm at. I'm sure I'll find, you know, something else later on, but, but, uh, as I'm going through there, you know, I also can't help but think about, well, maybe I could discuss this on an episode or, or this is really, you know, this, this kind of really speaks to me. So I want to share a little bit about this, or this is when this idea came to me and, you know, all these different you know, stories and, and reasons for sharing some of this information. And so just started kind of jotting down and of, of course, uh, another little notebook, some ideas uh, out of this book that, that we could talk about. And, and I wanted this to be the, the first one of this because I feel like, I feel like it's, it's very, very important. And when I say that, you know, I've always ended the shows or at least going way, way back with stay humble and do work. And I, you know, I I love that. I still love it, especially the, the do work part. You know, I just, for some reason, I've just grabbed pulled that years ago and, and really enjoy that phrase, but just as in books and just as in movies and, and everything else, you know, you, you get to other chapters, you, you grow, you change. And I feel like maybe this is the time to, to kind of change that. And so I feel like of, of everything that I've found in the book so far of, of things that either were important quotes or something that just, screamed at me that is important or something that I kind of came up with that is a, a, a really, you know, a good idea or whatever. There were a few that I, I kind of just wanted to pick from. And, and so this to me, I think is going to be something that I feel really, really good about ending shows with. I'll say it again, no matter what or where you came from, Greatness can come from you. That's something that we all need to remember. You know, I I think that there's so many things out there that hold us back. Most of them are are really circled back to us, if not all of them. It's it's about perspective. It's about mindset. It's about positivity and, and perseverance. And, you know, whatever it is, they always seem to come back to us. And, you know, this is something that I've, I've discussed with one particularly of my kids here lately, you know, well, really a bunch over the past several years, but any of us, any one of us can find an excuse any minute of any day not to do something or, or to justify doing something we shouldn't excuses are they're they're just 
they're they're so plentiful and and it's just up to your imagination to where they end because you know if if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for an excuse it's not hard to find and so you know that's something that that we all to varying levels need to work on some of us you know we're we're doing pretty good with it but we still we still fall back on it every once in a while or some of us man it's just something that is eating us up it's it's eating away our our momentum it's eating away our our ability to change our life to make better habits whatever this is a big deal and you know there's another layer of this as well and it 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 feeds back into you know where you came from how you were raised the family you're from the the environment the city, the, you know, it, all of these things are so many different variables that, you know, we have all experienced independently from each other. And, and really this statement to me, it, it says it all, you know, it doesn't matter where you came from. It, it could be, you know, the best possible situation of any child ever. Well, there's probably still some negatives there. Or it could be the worst possible situation of any child ever. And yeah, that's going to be, it, it's going to take an enormous person with incredible strength and perseverance and, and willpower and courage to overcome that. But both ends of that spectrum and everywhere in between, we were made to do great things. I, I don't, I don't care what the argument is. Or, yes, you know, it's going to be easier for so-and-so to, to make it or to, to do better in life than so-and-so. Okay, I understand that. But to me, the only thing that matters is why we are standing here right now. And why we are standing here right now is for great things. That's it. God didn't make us and put us here just because he, he wanted more ants in the ant farm. He gave us unique gifts. He gave us unique talents. He's allowed us to go through unique challenges that have, you know, refined us and, and, and changed us, made us stronger made us smarter so that we could do these special things, could do these great things that he has sent us here to do. And so that's where I go to when, you know, this type of thing is brought up. Again, I'm not arguing that people in a lot better situation, younger off have a better chance to, to make it out there and then people that were not well off. But to me, it doesn't matter because if we truly use the gifts, the gifts that God has given us, we are going to do great things. Oh, but it requires us to go a lot farther than we believe we can. It requires us to carry more weight than we ever thought we could. It requires us to broaden our circle, to bring in good, strong, loving, whatever people that, that we can bounce back and forth the, the strength and the love and, and wisdom and, and all those things. But we're all given that. We're all given our own unique set of those things. And if we aren't using them, then again, it just goes back to us. It goes back to what excuses we are choosing to use. You know, there's a, a story that goes right along with this. I, 
I have no idea if it's true. I'm sure it's not, but it doesn't matter. But just summing it up, I'm not going to go through the whole story. But so you've got two brothers who grew up in a, a family with an abusive alcoholic dad. And the, how the story goes is there's a, I believe there's a writer that's, is, he's trying to do some research on, you know, how different siblings grow up, even though they were raised in the same environment. And, and so he somehow comes upon these two brothers and one brother is successful and, you know, he's doing big things and, and doing just, he's, he's just going so far and beyond what he was raised in. He's, he's changing the, he's changing the family rhetoric. He's changing everything about the direction his family is going. And then he finds the other brother and the other brother is, you know, the other brother is a mirror reflection of his dad. He's an alcoholic. He's abusive to his family. He's, you know, he can't, keep a job, blah, blah, you know, just whatever you, you get the picture. You got one brother that has just blown the roof off of life and, and done amazing things. Even though he was raised in a really bad environment, then you have another brother that was raised in the same environment who has not done anything, who has really become the person that, that he hated when he was younger. And so what is the most impactful thing about this story to me is so the, the writer asked each brother, you know, what made you able to get here or, or what made you who you were or who you are right now? Sorry. He asked you, <laughs> let me say it again. He asked them, why is it that you are who you are now? And so the older or the uh, the brother that's been successful and done so many great things, he said, well, my father was an alcoholic and, and an abusive father and husband. And so I had no other choice than to do something different than that, because I did not want to be that person. I did not want my family to have to live with what I live with. And so. He goes and, and asks the same question of the, the unsuccessful brother. And what the brother said was, well, I grew up in an abusive household with an alcoholic father. And I had no choice but to become the same thing because that's how I was raised. And so if anybody's ever heard the real story, I completely butchered it. But hopefully I shared enough of it that you get the point. You, know, you you have two people raised in the same environment, a very unhealthy, not great environment. But you have one that looked at that and saw that that is not what I am going to be when I grow up. And I will do everything I can to not allow these things to happen to my family in the future. And then you have one other brother that says, you know, this is just how I was raised. This is all I know. I, I don't, I don't know any other way. I was, I was raised like this. I was treated like this by the, the people that, that were supposed to love me. So this is all I know now. So I don't, I don't know any other way to do it than this. But what is that? It's, it's just, it's just the unsuccessful brother using excuses because he was not willing to do the things that the other brother did. He was not willing to, to push himself as far as his other brother. He wasn't willing to step outside of his comfort zone. He wasn't willing to make sacrifices and you know, feel the pain of growth. And, you know, the, the uncomfortableness of just getting outside of what you know. He wasn't willing to do any of those things and to make himself feel better about himself and, and the life he's lived. 
he blames the environment that he grew up in. And so I think there's a lot to be, to, to really think about right there. I think there's a lot that we have to sit down and you know, see where we're at. I, I think that those of us that have come from some of those environments that are not great environments, man, just think of how much even more of a testimony you have, how much of an even bigger blessing you can be to people's lives because of what you've overcome. And so that's what we got to focus on. Why are we here? It's not to, you know, feel the pain of, of a bad family and, and feel the, the pain and regret and everything else that comes with it. If we turn into the exact same thing that we hated as a young child, that's not why we're here. We're here to make things better. We're here to, to make the world a better place. And even if that's just making somebody's day, one person's day a little bit better, or even if it's just, just kind of brightening up your small circle, Whatever it is, that's why we're here. So just wanted to share that just to kind of maybe get things going in a in a little bit different direction sometimes than than I go and and I hope you got something out of that. i I sure have had a lot of things to think about in that area, things that that I need to drop the excuses for, things that I need to really just step up and you know, take responsibility for. So that's the thoughts for today. I really appreciate your time. Thank you as always. Please like and share and and all those good things if you got something out of it. I'm here to 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 reach and and be a blessing hopefully to as many people out there as I can and and that requires a lot of work from you all. So I appreciate ahead of time all of that. Thank you. And like I am going to say now, remember, no matter what or where you came from, great things can come from you. Thank you all. See you next time.